Hey guys, this is the Encanto house from the movie. Um, so with this house comes lots of furniture. It comes with like a table, a bed, and everything. Um, the main things that I wanted to talk about with this house was not really the furniture, more of the functionality of the house. Um, one thing I did like was that this completely closes up. Like you can stack all of the furniture inside of here. Um, and then you can completely close up this house and kind of take it around. And it has the butterfly, which is pretty cute. Uh, so with this house, all uh, these stairs are removable. They just have like a little hook right here that you can hook onto at uh, any point of like the second level of the house and you can kind of move them over. It has like this little slide feature. So you pull this up, the stairs are here, you can push on them. Um, and then when Mirabel goes onto the first step is kind of when it starts sliding down. Another thing about the Encanto house is it only comes with Mirabel. It does have other characters the same size that you can purchase separately, but overall it only comes with Mirabel. And it does have these rooms that open and close. They do have noises um, if you do have it on. There are two functions, uh, which I'll show you in just a bit. Um, so when you open the first room, which is Antonio's room, And then the second one, which is Mirabel's room, or not Mirabel, I'm sorry, Isabella's room. Um, and then they do fit inside of the room, so if you want to put them in there and close it. Um, another thing on here was Peppa's weather abilities. Uh, on the side, you can see here, you just need to slide this out. Um, this is bent because a lot of times when my kids are playing with it and they're done playing with it, we forget to actually turn this inside before we close it. So multiple times we're like, why is it not closing? And it's because we forgot to turn this inside. But this will race up. And then you can just slide that back in. This also functions if you weren't like me and didn't bend it, you would be able to use it kind of as like an elevator. Um, but that is not a functionality for us anymore because we bent it so many times. Um, one of the cool things about this house is it has two buttons on here. Uh, the first one is like these little feet that you can see down here and that's where uh, Mirabel's feet go so she can play music. So that is the second setting that you can use. Uh, for some reason my kids prefer that one. Um, so the second one is when you push down on this, it'll just play the music and it won't have any actual lyrics to it. The very first one, when you press it, um, at the very top, it'll sing with the second half of the song for maybe a couple of seconds. One thing that I really did like about this house was it didn't have a lot of small pieces that I felt concerned about my kids playing with. Um, I think that's the biggest thing for me because I have toddlers who do really like the movie, like maybe three or four years old, and they really do like the movie. So having big chunky furniture like this was definitely a plus for me. That way they didn't have, I didn't feel worried about them playing with this. The last thing on here is just, um, all, most of the stickers that are on here on like the walls and stuff, those are fine. Um, there are some stickers that you'll need to apply to the front of the house. Um, but honestly, we never really see the front of the house, nor do my kids really play with the front of the house. They usually play with like the inside of it. And then Bruno's um, tower over here, it did not come like pre-installed, I guess, um, nor does it really stay. Um, so you'll just need to insert that in. It does have a roof that pops off pretty often. Um, but again, since it's not really part of like the main bottom floors, my kids don't typically play with it. Um, yeah, that's it.